In fact, talking about Madhusan being one of the key winners, let's welcome on board Vivek Chand Segal, Chairman at Samvarthana Madhusan International. And uh, we have with us uh, also Mr. Kunal Malani, who is the CFO of the company, joining in on the show right now. Um, let's uh, begin then. And, you know, the company has been in agreement for acquisition of uh, SAS Auto System Technology for EV Euro, um, you know, almost by 40 millions. Uh, could you mention, uh, Mr. Segal, uh, what really has been the rationale for this investment and what synergies can be expected? I think uh, this particular uh, acquisition has been, uh, 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 we've been working on this for the last eight, nine months. Uh, we believe it's a very uh, uh, powerful uh, acquisition because it takes us right into the plants of our customers. We become very, very close with the customers. Uh, uh, this business is assembly of cockpits in uh, the plants all over 24 facilities where they're uh, doing it at the moment. Uh, it brings us um, um, uh, close to, uh, close to uh, uh, our American uh, largest electric vehicle ma manufacturer. So I think it's a, it's a very interesting uh, acquisition. Um, the economic value is 540 million, uh, but it takes about four, five months to close. Um, Kunal, that would be uh, then decided what the acquisition value would be, isn't it? That is absolutely right. Uh, so it will be subject to all the, uh, you know, uh, debt and debt lag items reduction from the 540 million. Okay. So Kunal, I wanted to understand from you then what the debt levels are expected to be for the company post this acquisition? The funding will be done on uh, on a debt and internal approval basis. Uh, uh, if you would have noticed our quarter three results, uh, we are sitting at only 1.8 times net debt to EBITDA. Uh, even after considering the whole 540 million as debt, uh, which will not be the case, but just assuming the whole 540 million as debt, uh, we would be slightly above two. Uh, and obviously, as we move ahead over the next few quarters, as things improve, uh, uh, you know, we should still be below 2x net debt to a bidder even after this acquisition is done. Right. Uh, Mr. Segal, could you also share with us the growth outlook for the acquired business and the guidance, especially for the EV business? Is almost 50% of your order book, order book now, we as, uh, as we understand, is coming from EVs? The uh, future of this particular uh, business, the way we look at it, the way we envisage it is, uh, A, it is only at the moment uh, for cockpit modules. We want to bring other modules in. Uh, when we are established, uh, finally, with the uh, 0.5 tier, this thing, we will be in a position to actually assemble the car itself. Why not? If that is the uh, this thing over here. But, um, you know, this uh, acquisition gives us the know-how to actually uh, manage the entire logistics of um, uh, a module or a car, whatever you call. Uh, secondly, this particular thing will help us to go into the other uh, uh, factories also where we are uh, supplying as of now. Uh, it gives us the know-how and the confidence of the customer to supply to the trucking, to the two-wheelers. I mean, we can go anywhere in this particular thing. So um, sky is the limit for us to uh, grow this particular business. So Kunal, analysts are suggesting that the acquisition could add 10 to 15% to uh, uh, you know, Samuel's revenue and a bit out. So what kind of incremental revenue can you expect from this acquisition? Look, uh, what we have uh, clearly stated on this asset is it has a book business of three billion uh, over the next three years. Uh, so clearly, at least on an average, one billion revenue coming in in each of the next three years, uh, uh, with some amount of trajectory, uh, you know, growing trajectory on it. So this is only what is booked today. Obviously, when we bring into our fold, uh, we would want to add more uh, orders to it, more content to it as well. They only do interior modules. We can do front-end modules. We can do modules for commercial vehicles. Uh, these are all uh, additional growth aspects that we will feed into the asset as we move forward. So uh, it's a 1 billion average turnover 
with what we have bought and uh, hopefully we will deliver better performance than that. Sure. Mr. Sagar, your transaction is a step towards becoming the tier, uh, you know, tier 5 supplier. What does this concept really mean or 0.5 uh, supplier? What are the growth opportunities you think that can emerge out of this? You see, what happens is the tier 1 is a, a module supplier. Um, tier uh, 2, you are a part supplier to a module uh, supplier. I mean, it can keep going. But tier 0.5 is almost as if uh, you are working together with the car maker in the car maker's factory and assembling the whole modules or uh, parts and all that and giving it to them. So tier 0.5 uh, is a, a thing that originally Mother Sun always wanted to be. Uh, we were first a part supplier, then a, a part, we started making semi uh, uh, products or semi modules, and then we became a module supplier. And after module, now with this particular thing, we'll become, uh, uh, we'd already started in some portions in uh, Germany and in uh, different countries. But uh, with this, we get into the whole mechanics of uh, actually supplying and working together with the car makers uh, and supplying and getting their confidence. All right, gentlemen, appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining in, Mr. Segal, as well as uh, Kunal, and giving us that view on the major acquisition, and that's keeping the stock abuzz in today's trading session.